Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel and I am here to do my weekly empties. It's not even called weekly empties but we'll call it that. It's just empties guys. I'm going to start with one that's not an empty but I'm done with it. I got this out of a round robin. I don't remember which round robin. Um, this is Haley's Heavenly Scents Fluffy Pink Toasted Marshmallow. I had two. I got two out. I left the rest in there. Um, absolutely. Like, this smells super, 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 duper strong on a cold scent throw. When you melt it, there's absolutely no scent in this. So, I don't know what's going on with this one. This is going to the garbage. Done with that. From JLCCW, so I'm Jamie Lauren, Cupcake Creek, and Confections and Wax. I melted a Malibu rum, cupcakes, and coconut. This was really good. I got the rum, but it wasn't like overpowering, super strong rum. It was very good. I got the cupcakes. To me, it smelled a little bit more cookie-like than cupcake when it was melting. And the coconut to me smelled like a toasted coconut. I don't know if that's what's in here. It was good. This threw very strong, like unbelievably strong. I would not repurchase this because it's just not my blend. It's not the type of blend that I like, but it performed amazing. She's grouchy today. I'm sorry about that, you guys. I finished off Tiffany candles in oatmeal, milk, and honey. And I love this one. This is one that I will continuously purchase every time I make a purchase from Tiffany. This is not something that's like super strong, but it's the perfect scent row for this type of scent. Who wants an oatmeal, milk, and honey to be like in your face? You always want it to be a relaxing, soothing scent. I use this a lot in Bella's room. And it throws for days, and it throws... At a medium to strong sun throw and it's very good so I love that one I melted pina colada from Tiffany candles in the old wax now um, this one I had to use all three tarts to get a light sun throw so I would not repurchase this one okay moving on from pigs petals and scents I melted the little cupcake that I got from the last round robin you guys just saw and blackberry marmalade and this was good. I think this was really old um, because the scent row was more of a light to medium. But it was a very good tart blackberry. Um, it's something that I think I would have enjoyed a lot more if it was new. And it gave me a, a really great scent throw. So I would try it again. You know, but I would buy it straight from Sniff My Tarts. From Ollie's Soap, I melted strawberry parfait zucchini bread. And this was really good. I melted it on a 24 watt. It was strong. Um, I think I actually smell more strawberry here than zucchini bread, which is so rare. But yeah, when it was melting, on a cold centro, all you smell is the zucchini bread. But when it was melting, that strawberry note came out so much stronger. So I did like that. Poor baby. From the bathing garden, I melted lavender serendipity, and I am in love with this scent. I love it. I'm so glad I took this out of, um, oh, Lord. Absolutely adore her. I know her real name, Jackie. Why can't I remember her YouTube name? The Scholarly Nails. Ugh. I took it out of her round robin. This was put in there by Rashonda. It's all about Etsy. It's like a nice... Um, Bella, come here, baby. A nice um, earthy lavender, like herbal lavender, with the sweetness of the serendipity. It just makes it perfect. This I will repurchase if I see it. Here you go, baby. Go play. From the bathing garden, I melted strawberry hearts, which is another one. And this is the reason I like this idea of putting a couple cubes. Don't put just one because some scents you need two. Put at least two cubes. That way you're not putting a whole clamshell like this, which 
in a round robin, especially if it's a mid-size, you're not going to be able to get a lot of different type of scents if you put these things in there. These things take up so much room. But if you take out at least two cubes and you put them in one of these, you can have a round robin full of different scents. And I got to try a scent that you have no idea how many times I've seen this scent posted for sale and I passed on it because I saw that strawberry, I saw that chocolate drizzle on top and I go, I don't like chocolate scents. Strawberry hearts, it's so good. That chocolate scent is not overpowering. It actually adds so much to it because it just adds this different type of sweetness. I love this. This is creamy. This is sweet. This is just like a del like an amazing dessert smell. I will definitely repurchase that. So from the bathing garden, I finished a clamshell and flowers and frost. And this, um, I like it. It's a very soft flower smell with a frost, which is, I think it's like a mint. You want the Tomcat? Tomcat. There you go, baby. Oh, I hate this Tomcat. There you go. So, it's good. Um, I don't think I would repurchase it just because it wasn't something that I'm just like... At this point, I have enough wax that I'm kind of tired of um, trying too many new things. I'll try it if it's sent to me by a vendor because they want me to try it out and help them out and, and give them a review and tell them what I think. I'm okay with that. I'm all about helping whoever I can. If I have subscribers and if people like me and people want to listen to me and if I can help someone else by that, that's what we're here for. We're here for to help each other, to support each other. Because if we don't do it, who's going to do it? Right? So, um, I'll do that at any time. But when it comes to going out and trying new things, I think I'm going to stick with what I know I like from now on. So, candles from the keeping room. I melted warm vanilla sugar, which I think it's a dupe for Bath & Body Works. I like it. It wasn't anything that I was just like, I got to get this. I got to put this on my book so I can remember. So I won't repurchase it. And I'm very surprised because I thought it was a scent that I would love. But it was just eh. Same thing with the next one. Shampoo Deluxe. It just was not an impressive scent again. And I don't even like the cold throw that much. Like, it's hard to explain to you guys. These shampoo scents, aside from Biolage, which I love, this is just weird. It's hard to explain. Avocado and sea salt. I have that. Sorry, I keep fixing this. These silk stuff, it's so, like, ugh, just sticks to your body and it's uncomfortable. But they're pretty. Avocado and sea salt. I have this burning, melting right now. Love it will always repurchase it's amazing it's strong you get more of a sea salt type of scent um like a, an oceany air type of scent um water and air scent then i don't get any avocado at all love it will continue to repurchase it's going super strong right now in my living room and i just absolutely love it sea island grapefruit candles from the keeping room amazing it's very sweet. It's like a sweet, it's not the white grapefruit, it's the red grapefruit. It's sweet and it's very citrusy. It's perfect. It's that perfect like perk me up, wake me up type of scent. So I will repurchase this. I think I have it. I think I have a bag in it. It's kind of hard when you don't remember what you have a bag of. From candles from the keeping room, I melted zucchini noel. And this scent is amazing. This is the perfect creamy, creamy zucchini that Noel just adds that extra creaminess that makes it superb. It's amazing. And I love it. And it threw strong. And it was such a relaxing, creamy zucchini. For those of you who don't like zucchini scents, that's one to try if you want to. Because it's so creamy. It's just amazing. So from Orchid Lake Candles and Soap, I tried Deep Blue Sea. 
and I got a very light row from this. I think it was absolutely my fault. I took this out of the last round robin I was just in, and this was actually put there by Wendy, the vendor of OLC, and I think these were freshly poured, so I should have waited for them to cure. It smells delicious. It's absolutely beautiful, like ocean air and blue ocean air and water scent but it just didn't get any throw from distinctively pink oh my god this stuff is like bothering me from distinctively pink aroma melts a melted lavender lullaby and this was perfect she likes screaming there's this this app on my iphone and my ipad called the tomcat and it's a little cat that repeats everything she says and she likes to sneeze, sneeze and yell because he repeats everything. No working, she said. This is perfect. This smells like a baby's room. Come here. He was laying down. See, this is what I'm talking about. No, no, Hello. Let's make him talk, Bella. How do we make him talk? Hello? Hello? Uh -oh. Let's see if you'll work. Hello? Huh. Hello, Tomcat. Oh, no, no, working. Oh. Oh, that's the little cat. Okay, he's working. Yay! So this smells like a baby's room. It's like, it smells like baby powder and lavender. It's just awesome. It threw medium. It wasn't strong, but I really enjoyed the scent. So if it had thrown strong, it would have been like amazing. <clears throat> From Front Porch, I finished off strawberry marshmallow bread. Love the scent. Definitely need to grab more. I might have a four pack, but I'm not 100% sure strong the bread note is like a sweet bread um the strawberry is perfect it's just 10 10 out of 10 for this one i melted zucchini noel which was really good it was just a good creamy zucchini i prefer the candles from the keeping room one but this was really good and it threw very strong okay i melted two from buggy town and i need to place an order with buggy town let's just say that Five, it's five o'clock somewhere was amazing this I had a couple different scents going on around the house this just took over every scent it was like I wasn't burning anything else so strong so tropical it smells like so many drinks mixed at once and it was beautiful I just kept breathing as much as I could so I could keep smelling this and this threw very strong I also melted Buggy Town Candle Co. Tropical Sunrise. And this was so good too. This had a very, very strong scent row. Um, I think there's some citrus in here. I'm not sure, but it still smells fruity to me. Like a mixed drink with lots of fruit. Love it. I recommend everyone go check Buggy Town. I got this out of the last round robin I was in. Love it. You can expect a purchase from me in the future. Not that I need any more dang wax, but these were amazing. I have yet, I haven't had a tart perform this strong in a long, long time. So love it. And I know she has a lemon because I think many moons ago I tried one of hers and it was like this tart lemon. It was just delicious. So I need to place an order. Candles. I finished three candles. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Soho Living Yankee Candle Citrus Zest. I don't clean them. I want you guys to see how much soot I actually got. That's not bad considering I burned this whole candle and I've not cleaned it once. So, like, that's all the soot I got. That's not that bad. Burned all the way down perfectly. It just started messing up at the end, but that's to be understandable. Nice. Um, it's a cleaner lemon. It's a citrus zesty cleaner, cleaner lemon. I loved it. I actually got a medium scent throw out of this. So, really good. And I think I got these at Michael's or TJ Maxx. It was one of those stores. 
from Slacken Bath and Body Works, I finished off Coconut Leaves. This is, without a doubt, one of my all-time favorite um, Slacken candles. All-time favorite. That's what it looks like. It burned perfectly all the way through. That's as much, didn't really get much soot at all. So... This is perfect. This is just very tropical. You get the coconut, you get vanilla, you get like all this just beautiful tropical scents. And this one is just described as wander into a lush Caribbean garden with this blend of coconut and citrus with watery jasmine and peach blossoms. I smell the peach. I smell the coconut. Don't know much about citrus. Um, I do smell vanilla in here. So amazing. I recommend it beautiful I don't know if they're available now they should be if they're not but then I finished a Tiffany candles 16 ounce I think these are um, that's how much soot I got this got more soot than any of the other ones but this burned for a lifetime like it really did this lasted so long it was like the little candle that that just wouldn't give up and this is in donut shop in caramel apple Great blend. This actually had a strong scent throw. Like, I could constantly smell it. I had it burning in front of my TV. So, I like looking at the candles while the TV is going on. This threw strong. <laughs> strong. I could always... I didn't smell the caramel apple. It was just that donut shop. And I'm okay with that. So, with whatever I was smelting, this just added that extra sweetness. And it was so good because I could actually smell it. So go get yourself some Tiffany candles, candles, Tiffany candles, candles. But anyways, you guys, I love all of you. Please like this video. Please subscribe. Please everything. Um, I will come back later on with another haul. I will probably be in PJs and more relaxed because I'm going to take all this uncomfortable junk out. Um, cause I have my orders from Granny Country Candle, who's arriving today. I'm so excited. I've been waiting those little sin shots. Like, you won't believe it. But anyways, you guys, I love all of you. Please like, comment, subscribe. I've said that already. I'm like a repeating machine. All right, love you, bye.